Well, hey guys, today I want to bring you a video on something we have to do a couple times a year, which is trimming uh, bushes and hedges. So uh, along the way, I've learned some really cool tips and I want to share them with you. So come on, let's check it out. So guys, over the past weeks, we've been pretty busy here around the homestead place. We have been pressure washing and sealing the sidewalks, uh, using a bucket lift and cleaning the windows. And now I want to share with you a video on uh, doing all the uh, trimming my hedges and my bushes. And what I'm doing is getting prepped for doing a remulching. I want to uh, freshen up everything around here this fall. And so that's the mulching is the last thing I'm going to be doing. And everything else is just the preps uh, so I can do that big last job. Anyway, uh, please check out the video following and it's something really cool. Uh, as I was working, I got a really wonderful surprise uh, from a couple of people that come to visit me. So I hope you enjoy that as well. All right, look up in the camera. This is one of my twin grand girls and she wanted to come and say hello to y'all. So say, hey everybody. Say, how are y'all today? How are y'all today? And say, thanks for watching Papa's channel. Thanks for watching Papa's channel. Well, good job. Can I have a hug? Oh, mm, mm, mm. Huh? My Papa. That's right. You want to be on TV too? Well, come on. Now, I bet y'all think this is the same one coming a second time, but these are twins. One's Kinley and one's Caroline. Can you say hey, everybody? Hey, everybody. Say, thanks for watching Papa's channel. Thanks for watching Papa's channel. <laughs> Can I have a hug, too? I love you, sweetie girl. Alrighty. Sounds good. All right, time to get back busy. Break is over. I can't remember the technical name of this bush, but it's easy to remember the slang for it. It's called a holly on a stick. And you can see when it is mature and it's trained properly, it looks just like a holly bush on a stick. So anyway, it's a very pretty thing, great accent. It's an evergreen. And these particular type of evergreens, there's only one way to trim these, and this is the hedge trimmer. So anyway, my goal is to try to get it even and round like a ball. And anywhere there's little holes, I just, I'll, I'll let that stay. And hopefully over time, this will all fill in. And as this grows and matures, it'll become just really pretty and big and round. So that's the goal. Anyway, let's get back busy. So guys, there's one thing about doing Bradbury bushes. Big old warning on these bad boys is these things have thorns on them. Uh, they're not like rose bush trees. They are different. And what is so frustrating about these is their, their stings or whatever you want to call them, the sharp points are very brittle. And so if you get stuck off in your finger, they will break off even. And that little burr will stay in your skin and will get it infested and it hurts. So uh, I highly recommend if you're dealing with Bradberries, definitely make sure you want to wear some gloves because uh, it's just so easy to get one of those little ends in your skin. They're very sharp and uh, then they stay there forever and it hurts. So uh, just a little safety note. Now in trimming Bradberries, if you wanted to, you could take shears and you could even it off. But this tree I think looks a whole lot prettier when you individually just nip the long spots. Uh, as you can see the way it grows, it's little individual pieces are growing out long. So to me, you ruin the looks of a Bradbury bush if you just come in and shear it off even. You know, yeah, in five or six months from now, uh, it'll work its way back out and look okay, but I want it to look pretty now as well. I don't want to have to wait. 
So for me, I take these, it takes a little bit longer, but I like to just nip them off. And that way, you ever heard the old saying, you want a haircut that don't look like a haircut? Well, I want to do my trim of my bushes to where it don't look like I just sheared them off. Now, there's a long time ago, a lady that I used to work for uh, taught me a really cool trick and I have used it my entire life and it really really works well When you are pruning and trimming whether you're doing bushes or pruning trees if you will uh, Do it with this method you can trim a tree and then go back and look and you can't even tell hardly tell where you did the nips and turns and the way you go about doing this is you look at a branch or a limb let me see if I can get in here real close and you look to see where it splits so for example um, I want to take this one that's real long off so I'm gonna go all the way back to where it splits and see when you nip that you can't even tell because you know it's one thing to nip it like right here in the middle and then you got that stud sticking up but if you go all the way back to where it splits you can't see it and for example here we've got this one coming out and then this long one over here is branching out. Well, if I come back here where it splits and I nip it right there, now you can't tell where that's been cut. Same thing, we've got this long one here. I'm gonna go back to where it splits and I'm gonna nip it and you really can't tell. Now on some of these, you don't have a choice. You know, I don't wanna cut this whole one off. So let me see if I can stabilize the camera. And so in this case, what you would do is you would get into like where one of the leaves are growing forward, like right here and we're gonna nip it at an angle, just like that. And see, it doesn't really look like, and, and let me just do it like a, see how you can see the end of that? Well, if you go down to right underneath where a, limb, a leaf is going forward, let me find another one right here, and you nip it at an angle, and now you can't hardly see it. So that's a cool little technique. A lady that I worked with a long time ago, her name was Miss Thompson. Bless her heart. I learned so much from her when I was little. And uh, that's just one of the little tricks that I learned. Thought I would share. And if you do the same thing when you're pruning trees. And, and I'll, I'll show you guys later when I'm doing some chainsaw work. It's the same type of philosophy uh, with pruning trees. So uh, anyway, hope that helps with a little tidbit. guys I sure hope you enjoyed this video and found the information beneficial uh, we will be bringing the final video for this this part of the series when we do the mulching real soon so uh, again thanks for watching remember here at project next there's always one more so we'll see you guys again real soon thanks again take care bye